Who are you? I'm ch All right, you're going to see Ariel scored heavily here at the end of the round. Some big shots, but he also got flipped with a short right from Garcia, who, for one thing, Nick, has taken his shots very, very well for yeah. some rounds. Yeah, and as the, as the rounds roll on, you're going to start to wonder. You know, you start to question. You know Garcia's got a, a great chin, maybe, but you question Ariola's power. Well, Garcia's never been knocked out, as we've said. You know, his one loss to Torres Sykes by decision. So he's durable. Great left hook by Ariola. Just what they wanted. They're guarding against. His corner told him, get your hands up, watch the uppercut, watch the left hand. There's too much to watch, Wally, when Ariola lets his hands go. But they also want Garcia to let his hands go. He's really got to get him working. He can't rely just on that hook. Well, you know, Nick, I'm a big proponent that fighters do what they can do in the ring. If he is not using that jab and establishing his distance because Ariola is not allowing him to. <laughs> Every fight I've done with him, he says he's going to do that, and then he gets into this. Right. this now he's backing off. He's, he's a getting hurt. Guy. He's, he's a hurt to go down. Wow. Will Moret saw it off. The ropes held up Garcia. It's kind of a quick Garcia, stop. Garcia, well, it was, but I guess he had been absorbing so many shots. And look at Garcia. He's not protesting. No, he's not. Yeah, he doesn't look happy about it. Wally, I think it was a question. This guy couldn't box his way out of trouble. Well, I think there's problems. no doubt that Ariola was going to wear him down, and he was wearing him down. But I do not think they're happy in the corner of uh, Garcia right now. I'll tell you where they are happy. Chris Ariola, because he didn't want a long night. You know, we talked about the weight. We talked about the... Well, we didn't. You know, the level of opposition is always the key to his performance and his condition. Yeah. And he was let down. He thought he was looking past this guy. So for him to get him out in three rounds, I think, was absolutely crucial. For yeah, him. but, you know, you well, wonder the Riverside, what this teaches him. Me, you know, you. does it teach I mean, him, Nick, that, here. you know, there are certain guys I don't have to I'm train very hard for? Well, take a look at the end of the fight here. When you decide whether you think the stoppage was a little too quick. You see two good left hooks. Garcia starting to back up, and then on the ropes, he's going to get hit with another one right there. Probably on his way down. You know what? It's not a bad stop. It's no, his hands were down. He wasn't stoppage. punching back. You know, he did hit Ariola back there with a the right hand, but Ariola. Well, Ariola, there's, it's not a secret that Ariola can be hit. I mean, you know, we talked to him today about what do you need to work on. He said, I got to learn to move my head. Huh? You know, and there's no doubt about that. And he did run into a few shots. Well, look, at, look at Moret, look at Garcia's face. And you can really see the expression in his eyes. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. Garcia's not going to come back to win this fight by a knockout. I mean, if you need your endings a little bit more definitive than that, that's fine. But I don't think it's a bad uh, that's exactly what Chris Ariola e needed tonight. A stoppage inside three. Jimmy Lennon Jr. has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 11 seconds in round number three. A referee in charge, Dr. Lou Moret, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion, Cristobal, the Nightmare Arreola. Well, Chris Arreola, here's a guy who has made powerful statements against prospects. Tonight, he beat a guy he had to get out early. Did it in dynamic fashion. We'll be back to talk with him after this. Chris Arreola takes out Israel Garcia, and look at Arreola. Free shot after free shot. Garcia standing in front doing nothing. There he tags Ariola, but unable to dissuade him. Ariola getting off what he wants. The combination's flowing, and Garcia just walking in to a firefight, an ill-advised fatal one for him as he goes down in three. Chris Ariola takes care of business before the hometown, and he's with our Wally Matthews now. All righty, Nick. Well, we just saw it there. Now let's let's hear from the man who can uh, talk in combinations as well. Chris Ariola, were you happy with your performance tonight? Yeah, it was a decent performance. Uh, I give myself a maybe D plus, C minus on this performance. Well, you're a I top believe, grader. Yeah, I believe I could have done a little bit better. I probably could, should have ended earlier, but, you know, just paced myself, and I just made sure that I could find the right combination to open the lock. Well, what specifically do you think you did do well? I, I believe I could have closed a, a lot sooner. Maybe I could have thrown more combinations than I did today if you guys – could believe that but um i see much more openings my coach kept telling me you know henry kept telling me you know what there's opening here there's an opening there 
I didn't capitalize until finally the final round. All right, now we've made an issue of uh, your weight for this fight. Obviously, you came in heavier. Was it important to you to get this thing done early because of that? No, well, I thought, you know, Paul Williams came up higher, so I was going to raise my weight too. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you know, I, I knew I, I was, I was going to come in here in good boxing shape to go all 10 rounds. But um, as what you guys seen, I could have gotten the full 10 rounds at this pace. Uh, we're going to take a look at the end of the fight here. You get to play commentator because I think you'll be pretty good at it. You can tell us. In fact, why don't you just call it? Well, I just see he kept dropping his hands. So he dropped his hand, right hand, just landed flush, came back with the right hook, the right hand. And it's it just a matter of time. I just kept coming with a combination. I should have thrown an uppercut somewhere in there, but I didn't. But I got him out of there eventually. Well, he did plenty of damage with your uppercut, but Garcia was not happy as he left the ring. He thought the stoppage was a little too soon. Were you surprised that it was stopped uh, at the moment it was? No, because you know what? Honestly, he was getting hit with punches every round, like first, second, even the last round. He kept getting hit with punches, and, you know, it was – they, they had to save him. They had to save him, you know. That's the way I feel. All right, so you're supposed to get back into the ring with a, a higher echelon opponent, uh, perhaps in November. At what point do you want to really step it up and start fighting guys in the top ten? My next fight, as soon as possible, you know. After this fight, I'll probably just get hit back to the gym come Wednesday, Thursday, and just get back to about 240. That's a pretty good, pretty good way. What do you think? I, I was going to say, what do you mean head back to the gym? Head back to the gym, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you just got to get back to the gym and just put down the burritos and the weights. But you're going to you're gonna train for the, you know, trade harder for the next one. Yeah, of course, you know. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm stay strictly to a boxing you know, regimen. All righty. Chris Ariola, a short work winner tonight over Israel Garcia. Back to Nick and ringside. Wally loves it.